Hello, Internet Magic Man here from MMOBomb.com, bringing you another first look video. This time it's for Versus Battle of the Gladiator, available for free on Steam or through the website, developed and published by Netker Incorporated. Now, this game just became free to play a few days ago. It's an action, non targeting, uh, melee combat PvP game with some PvE in there if you want to play solo as well. We're going to spend about 15 20 minutes checking it out, giving you the scoop on it. And of course, if you want to check it out, Head on over to the website uh, or just download it directly from Steam. Now, before we get started, those of you that may have purchased this game previously, uh, there is a compensation package going on if you want to uh, you know, take advantage of some goodies. Maybe you're feeling a little, um, uh, a little miffed that it went free to play. So there are some in-game rubies and things like that. Now, I've already created one character to jump in and make sure the settings were good for recording. Before we jump into character creation, I do want to show you some stuff in the settings though. There's not a ton of options, uh, particularly when it comes to res resolution, screen ratio, and things like that. Uh, the highest you have, which for some reason slipped to 720, so we'll jump that back up. Bloop! to uh, 1080. There's a 16 by 9 and a 16 by 10 if you're playing on widescreen monitors, but there is nothing above 1080, and there is no full screen mode. It's just windowed or not. So if you're playing on a 4K monitor, yeah, you're gonna have some uh, uh, quite a bit of space around your damn game here. So hopefully this is stuff that will change as the game continues development, but not a ton of options. And right now there is no default controls for a controller. So if you want to use a controller, uh, at least as far as what I can find, you're gonna use something like XPad or things like that. Jumping into character creation, not too much to talk about there either. It's very, very simple. There's not a ton of customization. Pick male or female, doesn't matter which. You've got a few actions that you can preview. The game is on Unreal, so graphically, uh, it's actually a bit better than we're used to in a lot of free-to-play games. So you can take a look at some advanced uh, armor sets, get an idea of what you might be... What the hell? What is going on with her chest in that outfit? It only does it in that outfit. Something about that armor. <laughs> You've got seven different combat styles that you can start with, ranging from one-handed all the way down to Warhammer. And you can see it skews at the top of the list, high speed, low power, all the way to Warhammer, low speed, high power. Clicking preview is what actually selects it. So you can see maybe a quick note, like if you take dual wield, which I did, uh, you get a bonus for rear attacks, but you cannot use guard. Where Warhammer might not be able to use counter. So take a look and pick the one that works best for you. Now, we're going to... We're not going to play on this character. The tutorial is very short, and I can cover it in two seconds here. I just want to jump to the actual creation aspect and show you there's not a lot to write home about. And <laughs> skirt physics, look at that. Aren't you just the belle of the ball? Look at you. Four different face uh, presets to pick from, six different hairstyles, two bodies. You can't really see unless you drop down to your underwear that one is just a tad more tone and, and muscular than the other one, at least on the female body. And then in the color department, you can change your skin color, it's glossiness, your eye color, and the detail department, adds a little bit of makeup and facial features on some presets, facial tattoos, opacity, body tattoos, and opacity for those two tattoos. Your scroll wheel, you can zoom in, but if you're hoping to get more face detail, no, it's defaulted to the, uh, yeah, all right, whatever. So we're gonna head on back and jump into Nadelia, who I've created only level one, only completed the tutorial, so we'll jump into game there. And this is your main menu. So now the game is free to play, you see it went a few days ago, and you've got your typical menus here, armory, where you're going to get your equipment, your items, things like that, disposables and cosmetics, and swap them out on your character. You also have a storage tab here, so a little bank you can open additional th uh, slots for, and a forge where you can create equipment through farming up uh, items and disposables and even working on some of your current gear. The skills tab is your advancement, so you'll be picking what skills you want to jump into and level up. So right now, let's take a look. Basic one, Blade Storm. I've got that at level one. To rank it up, Viper one requires level three. 
one of whatever resource that is and 1,000 in-game gold. Now, I don't. I have 10 of those little tomes or scraps or whatever they are. No rubies, which are the in-game cash shop currency. And then the gold, which is the actual in-game itself currency. I don't have any of that yet as we've just started. Passives is not a lit-up tab, assuming that that will, if it's not in-game, probably comes with a later level. Of course, you've got your rank and your experience. Uh, and all of your stats and achievements. And then the marketplace itself, which is pretty slim right now. Really, it's just repairing scrolls, tinkering scrolls, retraining scrolls for your skills, name changes, things like that, and then ruby boxes for you to buy the in-game currency. So it looks like one ruby is about a penny. 5,000 rubies for 50 bucks. There you go. 100 for 99, so yeah, a penny a piece. We're gonna jump in. Now here's the thing. <laughs> There's not a lot of players. I'm playing at 4.20 Eastern Time on a North American server, so yeah, okay, it's not ideal, but it is closing in on prime time, and there are no players, no players, no players, no players, no players, no players, no players. Two in a team deathmatch. Uh, so that hosts two to eight players. Right now there's only two players, so they're probably in there just smacking each other in the face. That's the versus. You also have a solo tab where we see one player is playing the hard mode. We're gonna go into normal in just a second. And then of course you can create your own battles or go to training battles as well. Uh, tutorial is your opening tutorial, and then you've got some additional training on how to counter, how to use guards, how to grapple, things like that. We haven't taken any of those yet. So let's jump into solo. We're gonna go to normal. You can meet other gladiators you're gonna fight against here. Well, uh, this is solo, so I'm just gonna jump in and start the battle. All right, so a couple interesting things happened here. We finally got back into the game, and I was able to queue up the same mode that we were seeing in uh, in our menu there. <laughs> Not only did it drop me into the match as soon as I came back in, which is fine, great, uh, but it also just popped full screen for me, too. Now, I can't even get to settings. Escape, as you can see, wants to send me back to the lobby. But it did pop full screen on a, a 4K monitor. I have no idea at this moment, though, if it retained my 1920 resolution or 720. It looks crisp, so we're, we're going to assume that it kept my 1920. So maybe the tutorial and the system, the menu system, have no uh, full screen options. But it looks like the game itself is played in a full screen. So there you go. Just didn't want to uh, piss off anybody that plays the game by saying it doesn't do a full screen. It, it appears to just do it automatically, but not in the tutorial, hence my confusion. So let's go through the game. Upper left-hand corner, my health and everything. You'll see my yellow bar is stamina. Um, that is obviously being consumed as I use various uh, attacks here. Now my armor is gone, so I got the piss beat out of my armor, which is the white bar below my health. So now I've got to be a bit more careful. WASD movement, simply moving the mouse moves your uh, camera. Left mouse button is an attack, right mouse button hold down is a block, and then there are other features in the game such as uh, countering and using uh, charged abilities, so I'm gonna use E right now. There we go, a little dive attack, but it consumed a lot of stamina. I've got a combo and a kill count going in the upper left, or oh, I'm sorry, in the uh, middle of the right. I've got three minutes remaining in this last five minutes trial. Killing goblins left and right. I, I don't see, there's no, nowhere for me to pick up any health, which I, I mean uh, armor. All right, so holding right block, right mouse to block that type of crushing attack, not doing any good. Just blew the armor off of that skeleton, though. Now it's totally gone. And I need some stamina, so let's kind of back off a little bit. Just holding down right mouse does not do anything. It's consecutive hits. All right, so let's press R. Whoops, that was not R, that was E. Let's press R and use the chest there. Gonna break. Yep, destructible environment. That's cool. All right, so heading down the path here. 
Two minutes and three seconds. We have survived and killed the boss. This glory is another proof of your prowess. All right, so let's take a look at our score. We got a B overall. Flesh-eating poison, 400 gold, 450 experience. No bonuses on either. So, And then back to our menu. All right, we're back, and we made it back to the main menu. Now, I think what's going on is that the swapping between this... Uh, this menu that doesn't really have, it looks like it did keep 1080. This menu that does not have a full screen option and the gameplay itself that does have a full game or a full screen almost default, you can't do anything about it. Um, I, th I think it's not jiving well with recording software, but that's not to say that there aren't bugs in the game by itself anyway. So now let's go to my records. I still don't have anything going on there, but my character career, I am leveling up. I don't have any kills, deaths, or anything like that, obviously because I am playing in the single player mode because there is nobody playing in the Coliseum. Here, we got one player in the Coliseum waiting for team deathmatch. All right, let's see if it'll let us jump in there. Team deathmatch is two to eight players, so we'll let us go one on one. And of course you could queue up for random, it's not doing it, so forget it. We'll jump into solo, we'll go to hard. Now survive one minute, kill the fanatic cultist of the slain gone Magia, or Magia. Yep, it's totally gotta be related to the uh, recording software. So hopefully you not recording won't have those type, wow, I got my armor ripped off of me quickly. Holy shit. So the game does rely on skill and positioning and knowing what you're you're doing and your various abilities. Stamina control. There we go, that was nice. And you can kick somebody's block. I mean, they're not blocking here, so it really doesn't give me a chance to show you that. But you can kick some... Well, there goes my damn pants. Uh, oh, no, oh, God. Oh, there we go. All right, let's take... Damn it, I did that again. Let's take that. And I can pick up that weapon if I want to in my right or my left hand. Headed through the door. This is going to be short. I'm not going to survive this. Going up against another dual wielder. I could not get my block up in time there. Let's... Oh, look at my face. Oh, my God. <laughs> She is hurting. Whoa. And fell into a trap there. All right, gang. That's enough. I don't want to jump back to the menu. But if you want to check out Versus, it's available on Steam for free with a skill up system as far as spending points and gold. So if you're looking for something customizable, action-y, and very short, this might be something you want to check out. However, be warned, not a lot of players playing it. Until next time, this is Magic Man saying stay safe. We'll see you on the servers.